425, a bit of a longer one, but that's cool. A different vibe to the pre previous track, doesn't it? Let's go. Got everything you want right now. I got everything you need. Got everything you need right A lot more laid back kind of vibe to this one. It's a lot more gentle. Those pads are soothing and sort of alluring. Baby, you ain't gotta leave. You ain't gotta leave. Is this the hook? That's sub bass. I mean, that bass just. Oh, it's resonant. It's kind of like you're in an ocean, right? That's really clever. The stereo padding's been done really well. Not like that it's going from side to side, but like. Sorry, I didn't really explain that well. One of me about stereo padding is not that it's being automated, it's more like just, it sounds like it's surrounding you, you know? But I know you won't go if I ask you to ride. Life, let me tell you about it. It'd be full of surprise. Check in the heartbreak hotel. This room inside. I see you packing the go. I hope this ain't so. I tried to get in front of it. Now I've let things go. I want to believe in God. This is really well, really well, well mastered. It's really well mixed and mastered. You can hear the vocalist nice and clearly in this. There's no moments where it's kind of like, wait, what? What are they saying? Every word comes through. Crystal, it's it's dope. When they tell me to hold on, but that would be a fool if I don't say that you so gone. In a whole other place, can't even breach your zone. And true to alert, you blaming me for all of your hurt. You cut me all the way out, it got me feeling berserk. But you seem okay, you going out for dessert. And after everything we built, you just up and dessert. Right at my lowest point, you provided the maximum hurt. Yeah, how was low, so the light will be up under the dirt. But now I'm looking down on you from afar, I'm circling the earth. Cool, that's dope. That's really well done. The guy, the guy's obviously got hell of a technique to him. Really eloquent and sort of like very, very confident vocal performance there. It, it meshes well. Oh, it sort of rather it contrasts well with the, the this cleaner sort of like of performance from Teo. It's it's good that we have these different type of um different type of uh textures within this track in that part of things. There's a lot of range in this album, and I'm really excited for it. These little overdubs and the repeaters that's going on, the like delays and stuff like that is soothing and it fills up the space really nicely and performs a really good call and response kind of functionality. The kick is nice and I mean, I, I know it's a given to say a kick is percussive, but you know what I mean, it's, it's um... It's like, it's, it's like perky without being too attention seeking. I say you're not happy. I noticed that for a few years I tried to give you everything, but I guess I blew it. Oh, she was empty well. They can't hold no fluid. You told me before you don't know who you is. And after all this time, you say it's too hard to do this. Walking miles in the cold so you can pick up the kids. All right. Um, yeah. I, I mean, this, this, this song appears to be discussing a, um, sort of a relationship or like a, a marriage or something like that that hasn't gone the way that either of them really wanted them to. I'm guessing like there's like been sort of, uh, I don't know, the, the the expectations haven't been met or people aren't able to make each other happy and... Wow. Yeah, because sometimes you, you spend so much time thinking that you're not enough for someone and you forget what you actually have, you know? And sometimes no matter what you do, it will just not be enough. That, that that guitar there is the I, is, I, I like that it's a nice touch for this final outro of course yeah 
Yeah, man, this is sick. I'm really, really happy with this. All of me. Oh, I get it. So like, it's it's basically lady orient lady oriented at the start because the focus is on the woman being what the guy needed in life. But then the guy finds out at the end that he's actually he's he's enough within himself, right? Cool. Very somber, kind of introspective kind of tonality. Of this music. It's the kind of tune where it leaves you to kind of sort of contemplate your own point in life. Sorry, I don't mean to. I don't mean to interrupt the music. I'm just thinking out loud. Dude, that's stunning. Like, this is going to be a really sick, sick album. I'm, I'm really excited to hear how this turns out. I can I can I can understand the connection between the two that we've listened to so far. I get how they work together. Again, I really the, the music there was a lot of musicality in that track, you know, the, the, the mixing and mastering was pretty on point. Um I, a couple of the vocal harmonies were a little bit interesting. They weren't out of tune or anything, don't get me wrong. The vocals were great. There were just some interesting sort of like combinations of notes and intervals used. Um, but I think that that sort of affects the the tension within the track, especially in the middle when there's transition between the, the lady dominated kind of vocals and then the guy dominated vocals in regards to saying all in me and realizing where the importance is. Uh, uh, you know, like in respect to them getting the most out of their lives that they can and finding that within themselves. I, I, I really, I really adore this. It's It's like there's a weird sort of wholesomeness to it, despite the sense of loss and the sense of sort of trepidation to it. Um, I've I've got nothing of but but love for what Hidden Tracks has managed to accomplish so far, and these collaborations, collaborations, those collaborations.